Welcome to another fingernail fixer video. I've had some requests to show how to do the cuticle remover when you can see the difference between the cuticle and the proximal nail fold. I'm going to go in nice and tight. This ridge of skin that you're looking at is the epinychium or the proximal nail fold. That is not cuticle. Cuticle is what you find out on the nail plate itself it's a transparent tissue that has a waxy film. You can use your favorite cuticle product, spread it around on the nail. The product I happen to use is C&D Cuticle Away, which chemically breaks down the soft tissue. By the time you apply it to all 10 nails, it would be ready to go. If you have someone with really resistant cuticle, it's really stuck in there good, what you could do is let the cuticle away sit while you come back in and do the shaping. I've picked this nail to do the video for you because it's got a really nice thick proximal nail fold. And a lot of the questions were, how do you leave that ridge of skin and explain it to the client? One of the first things that's really important is when you're pushing, you do not push that fold of skin back. You go up to that fold of skin with your tool to lift and separate the cuticle from the nail plate. If you push that fold of skin back, that's what makes it look like a loose white flap. If you simply remove the cuticle from just the nail plate, that leaves the epinychium intact. I'm going to just remove the cuticle product dry so that you can still see that epinychium in place. I'm going to switch over to curette, which is kind of a scoop shaped tool. Make sure the face of the curette, that open face, is always flat to the nail. See how there's a little bit of cuticle still here in the sides and in the corners that the pusher didn't catch? The curette is going to help get the rest of those little bits of cuticle. I'm also going to use it in a circular motion so that it gently massages the skin around the nail. This is picking up those some of those little bits that were sticking out. And you can see I'm not really pushing that ridge back, I'm just gently massaging it a little bit so that the edge of it is nice and crisp. This is where you can come in. We would remove the product that I'm using, needs to be removed with water. So I go in and scrub that clean with water. Then come back in and you can do the cuticle work. This is where a lot of the controversy from nipping comes in. I'm gonna use a little bit of scrub fresh. You can use the dehydrator and cleanser that you use for your nail system to just wipe that off and really dehydrate any cuticle so that it's easy to see for purposes of the video. As that dries, you can really see those little white bits of skin coming out from under that fold. This flap of skin is living tissue. These little white bits are the actual cuticle. Take your nippers, lay them down against the fold of skin, pinch and let go. Slide up, pinch and let go. Lay it up against that fold of skin, pinch and let go. You don't want to pinch and yank, pinch and yank, because that pulls the skin up underneath that fold of skin. Pinch and let go. If you have a little piece that's no longer connected, pinch and let go. Pinch and let go. I'm just going to check that this isn't a little bit of cuticle out here on the nail plate and clean that up. You'll find that a curette will clean up a lot of what you normally feel the need to nip. If you still have a little spot, pinch and let go. Pinch 
inch and let go. If you still have some little spots out here, you can come back with your pusher and cover any of those little spots out there. When it's finished, that flap of skin should be smooth and intact. It shouldn't look white because you haven't separated it from the nail plate by pushing back into the skin. So then it looks like a healthy piece of skin at the base of the nail plate versus a white flap. I hope this helps answer your questions. If you have any more, please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Thanks.